only on Local 10. Some people waking up today to find their cars on bricks. Yeah, they were missing their wheels and their tires. And Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live in Miami Gardens with this exclusive crime alert. Christy, Janice, take a look. You can see the wheels, the tires missing from both this blue Altima and this white Altima. The owners of these two cars having a pretty good attitude about this at this point. But this is actually the second time a crime like this has happened in Miami-Dade in just this week. Surveillance cameras in this Miami Gardens neighborhood catch what appears to be a white SUV speeding down Northwest 39th Court and across Honey Hill Drive. That's the person or people who neighbors here believe may have been responsible for stealing the rims and tires off of these two cars. When I came outside, I see them sitting on bricks, basically. The car's owner, who didn't want to be identified, tells us he was woken up by a friend this morning telling him what had happened. I have to find transportation now. I got to work the claims with insurance and God knows how no, you know, if the insurance is going to go up now or... It's just a very inconvenience, that's all, it, it, it hurts. In total, the thieves stole eight wheels and tires and broke the windows of three different cars. This all happening just days after a similar incident down in Southwest Miami-Dade, where 13 cars had their wheels and tires stolen. Those crooks were caught on camera as well, rolling up in a four-door Mercedes to Southwest 162nd Avenue and getting to work. The results left the neighbors there dumbfounded, especially since they pay for a security company to patrol the area. And so the crooks, at least in this morning's uh, attempt, they knew what they were doing because these cars had these special kind of lug nuts that are called wheel locks. You need a specific type of key for these. So they clearly knew how to break into these cars and knew where to look for those. We reached out to the police departments this morning, seeing if they thought there was connection between these two incidents. They cannot confirm that yet at this point, but both are looking for any information that can lead them to the people who did this. We are live in Miami Gardens, Ian Margul. Local 10 News.